you could hurt somebody, would you do it? If if you could hurt somebody, like I I, I hear all the time, oh, he's a really nice guy. I hear that all the time. Well, I hear he's a really honest guy. I've heard he's a really loyal guy. He's a really faithful guy. I've heard these terms, and they're good terms. They're good, strong terms. But if it's be if it's by default, I feel at least within the spirit of virtue that it changes. Right. And this guy is loyal to this company, man. He's been here since he was 18, and he's put in 30 good, honest years, and he, but there was no other company that wanted him. Just suggesting, just by example. He did do something very good. I'm not minimizing it. I'm just sharing that it feels different. It feels different, right? If you have the ability to go do something and you don't, that would be much more virtuous. So if you have the ability to hurt someone, would you? If you were the biggest guy, nobody is as big as you. Would you pick on people that were around you just because you could? If you were a trained person and nobody else around you was trained, would you use those skills to hurt the people around you just because you could? It's an interesting concept that I would sure assume you would say, no, I want to do that. Of course I want to do that. And I watched an interview this morning. I'll start that statement over. Interviews of back and forth with a nether arm. This was done. It was like a selfie style video. Tyson Fury. What looked like he had just finished working out. He's got a couple of guys in the background. And he's yelling, he's having fun, he's being charismatic. He's, he's just playing around, but he's talking to Francis. And he says, you're going to get knocked out. He says, you big stiff dozer. I don't know what a dozer means. The, the internet, in fact, had different, different ideas. It was like a slang. Internet said it meant homeless person. And he said it, and this was funny. Tyson was laughing. He was, he was funny. He was being charismatic. He was being charming. The, the guys behind him were laughing and carrying on. And I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, what part of this is funny? To take your size and your skills and your experience and to go beat up somebody who is weak. To go beat up somebody that has none of those things. To be a reigning world champion and to take on somebody that's never even been a contender and never ever will be a contender sounds like a really cruel thing to do unless you're a sick person. And I, re I really, is on a personal standpoint, I just couldn't imagine. I am a monster if I want to be. There is not a person that's going to stop me from doing whatever. When I go to the butcher, I don't have to pay him if I don't want to pay him. I go get coffee, I don't have to pay for that coffee, and I don't have to wait in line unless I want to pay for the coffee, and I want to wait in line. And there's not anybody or any two or three people that are going to do anything about it unless they have a weapon. That's the truth. And those things have never crossed my mind. I would never cut the line. I would always pay. I would always wait. I would always be civil. But I don't have to. Choice. And that's a very big difference. It's a very big difference. You have an ability or a set of skills that is larger than those around you. How are you going to treat them? And what are you going to do with that? What kind of responsibility are you going to have and show? And when I look at Tyson Fury, who is somebody that I've always admired to an extent, his skills are great, his heart is great, his comeback, the adversity he's dealt with, even the fact of what an entertainer he is, is really great. 
But now he's going to go pick on a guy that can't defend himself. He's going to go pick on a guy that's never done it. As the best boxer, I think, ever. And that was the distinction that I gave to Mike Tyson. I now give it to Tyson Fury. He's going to take that size, he's going to take those skills, that experience, all that training, all that stuff, and he can go beat up a guy who's never done it, who's coming off a knee injury, who's at least 37 years old and has absolutely no experience. And it's gross, quite frankly. I, I would not do it. And if I did find myself in that situation, there's things that you would have to do just to live with yourself, right? Tyson got to be able to get rid of Francis in 60 seconds, right? He just has to. But would he and should he? If you have a skill that you know this guy doesn't have, what, what, how can I better serve him? Am I being nicer to him if I come out and I hit him three, 3,000 times, but they're not very hard? I just pick him apart, and I do that for a half hour. Or am I better? Am I serving him better to come out, measure him up, and put him down with one shot, which I have the skill to do? It's going to knock him out, but he's done. I'm not going after his kidney, his liver. I'm not. I'm none of those. I'm not going to chop him down and wear him down. I'm going to put him away right now. He's going to get a big old bag of money. He said it's what he wanted. He came over to the wrong sport. He didn't want to do this. He could have sat at home on the couch. He got in here in a combat situation, and I can live with myself for that. It was tough. It was tough watching the interview. It was tough watching Tyson Fury and his scumbag teammates behind him laughing at Francis. They were laughing about what they were going to do to this stiff bum, Dozer. And that normally would be fight promotion if it wasn't so glaringly true, right? They're laughing that they're going to go hurt a guy. The best boxer to have ever boxed is going to box a guy who's never boxed. And he's laughing. And it felt gross. And it's not something I would do. I would not take a skill and go find somebody weaker than me, tell the world, and then laugh that I'm going to go knock a guy. Well, great job. Great job knocking him out. He's on a bum knee. He's 37 at least, and he's never done this before. Congratulations, Tyson. You're a real man.